What's going on everybody? Welcome back. It's great to see you again. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the ISO noise from the Canon 5D Mark III. Join me. Alright, what's going on everybody? It's great to see you again. Today, I did a little ISO test for the 5D Mark III and I've got the images right here on the screen. Let's take a look at them. The first one right here, this is uh, 50. This is down into the low expansion. And we're going to go to 100% on this, looking right at the face, right here on friendly uh, Mr. Grogu, my favorite model. You've seen him a few times on the channel now. And this doesn't have any kind of an issue. Obviously, there's going to be no issue with noise at 50. There's not going to be an issue at 100. It's really clean. 200, it's clean. 400, a little bit of noise. 800, right here. And now here we're up into 1600. You can start to see a little bit of noise at 1600. Let's stay out. Let's go here to full view. But if you go from 1600 all the way back to 50, other than a little bit of a composition difference, when you're in this view, I can't see any difference. Even up to 3200, I'm still not seeing any kind of a difference unless I start to zoom in. I'd be perfectly fine using 1300 for anything or um, 3200 for anything I needed it for. Same thing with 6400, quite honestly. I would be more than fine using this. Uh, 12,800 are starting to see some noise, but this is not anything that'll be visible in a print. You know, even if you're trying to print huge, you would not be able to see that in a print if you're standing back at a proper viewing distance. Uh, 6400 would have been the limit with my old camera where I could go. That was a 60D. But now here on the 5D, I'd be fine going all the way here to 12,800. And quite honestly, I'd be fine here at 25,000. 25,000 is the end of the normal range. And when you go into the expansion, you're going to see here in a minute, they, they fall off really quick. But to me, the 25,000 is fine. I would use this. Now, if you're trying to do astrophotography where you're starting to do 30 second exposures and stuff like that, it's a different story. Okay, this is for normal exposures, like you're trying to take a portrait or something like that. Astro has a different issue because you start exposing for 30 seconds and, and you do end up with hot pixels and that sort of thing. And there are limits to what this can do. I don't have any of those here. I have tested some of those, but you know, that was just sort of as an experiment. Um, but in a normal situation, easily 25,600 to me is fine. Now you start going here. This is where you start seeing, it starts messing with the colors. You could see a difference in how the highlights up here looked. And then down here on the wood part, it, it, it's this weird inversion and I'm not really sure what caused that. I don't find the noise here to be quite offensive just yet, but the, the way it, you know, did the colors, that's sort of an issue, you know, that, that would be an issue to deal with. And then here, obviously this at a hundred thousand, 100, this is just, this is not very good. And, you know, that's something that we would have to deal with because, let's be honest, here's the thing. If you need 102,000, you need 102,000. If this is what you have to use to get the image, it's what you're going to have to use. Now, I do think you could make the case that even back here at 25,000, it's probably going to look better even if you overexpose it by two stops than what this looks like because this is really bad. 
And so, but again, if you need a hundred thousand, you need a hundred thousand. For me, if I really had a choice, I'd probably stop at 12,000, maybe go up to 25,000 if I needed it. And if you want to take a look at these images, Look down in the description. I have a link to a Google Drive folder and I have all these straight DNGs down there. You can take a look at them, download them, do whatever you want with them. And if you want to take a look at a couple other videos of mine, those are right here. And with that, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you again on the next one.